York and New Jersey Harbor has always been an important part of the region's economy. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been maintaining and dredging the channels that make up the harbor for several decades, which has included deepening the channels when necessary. We are constructing 35 miles of channels that are going to be 50 feet or deeper in order to get the largest container ships into the four major container ports here in New York and New Jersey. The Corps of Engineers has been engaged in deepening up New York and New Jersey Harbor since 1997. Actually previously, but the continuous construction more or less deepening the channel since 1997 for about three dozen different contracts. We're just now reaching the end of that construction, going to a depth of 50 foot navigable depth. In many areas of New York Harbor, the underlying material though is hard, and so we have to actually deepen it to minus 52 feet to allow for additional safety clearance. And those hard areas, many of them, involves removing bedrock material. Actually deepening the shipping lanes in the harbor involves digging up everything from clean sand to solid bedrock that has to be drilled and blasted to be removed. These drilling and blasting operations are carried out by specially trained crews on dedicated vessels on the harbor. Of course, with operations like drilling and blasting bedrock, engaging the public is extremely important, and public information is an important part of the overall harbor deepening effort. To properly inform the public so that they're aware of what's about to, to begin, we set up and establish these public meetings to try to inform them as to what the operation is, why it's necessary, and then also the elaborate monitoring measures that both the contractor as well as the Corps through our consultants perform. Whether it's bedrock at the bottom of Newark Bay or the Kilvan Cull, or it's sand from the bottom of the Ambrose Channel, the Army Corps of Engineers strives to beneficially reuse all of the material it dredges, especially during the massive harbor deepening project. That's how the Corps of Engineers is combining the deepening with one of the largest ecosystem restoration projects in the region in the ongoing restoration of Marsh Islands in Jamaica Bay. Hey, we are at Yellow Bar Marsh Island within Jamaica Bay and we are constructing our third Marsh Island uh, beneficially using sand from our Ambrose Channel Harbor Deepening Project. And we are creating 42 acres of wetland in this area, uh, basically restoring it. Restoration projects like this one are important to the entire harbor estuary. As a wildlife refuge, the bay is extremely important. It holds tremendous amount of shallow water habitat and also wetland habitat, which provides nursery areas, breeding areas, food for a wide variety of fish, birds, amphibians, reptiles, mammals, and the small microorganisms that grow here upon which they feed. Once the Corps completes the deepening efforts in the New York and New Jersey Harbor, it will continue to maintain the important shipping lanes for years to come. Why is it important? Because in order to get those ships in here, we're supporting 260,000 jobs for the area, $14 billion of taxes and wages for the area. It's the largest port in the, on the East Coast, and that's good for the economy.